so guys welcome back to the channel cat comrade and as you saw, saw in the last video that i was doing a proposed land use plan so i am like almost 70 percent 75 percent there and now i am sharing you the process that we have done right now so as as you can see the area has predominantly residence area and the cliff area uh, is having com commercial use usage as you can see it over here like the cliff area is the main uh main places there they they will have uh the hotels resorts and and as i told in the last video that this is going to be a water aerodrome so we have also marked out that area and yeah that's it now i'll be doing it in a uh, real time and uh, we also added some recreational spaces like over this there uh there's a condo over here right now and there was a way vacant pl plot right over here so we also made it as a we can make it as a park so like you know in the land use you have to give that provision to uh, make it as a uh, like uh, land use is the first thing that or the pioneer of doing any dev development in the city uh, the land use plan is the thing that is always used and always used as a pioneer so yeah you should always take care while you are drafting or designing any city anywhere in the world you should always uh, stay focused and you should always think about first the local and also the pre pre -dom dominant to tourist crowd right right over here in this case which is in a uh, work club so the biggest change that we made in the land use plan that here it was a pure residential uh, land use but now that we are changing it as a mixed residential use because what happens over here is that uh, many of the houses is also doing their uh, homestay business uh, and which is like their 80 percent house that also serves as a 80 percent household income so why not just change the land use and help them grow well rather rather than um, you know getting them involved in the, all the law and court uh, court things and and why not because their 80 percent of the household wealth is coming from the homestays that they are offering to the tourists so yeah why not see see as you can see over well, you're also there is a molly's hostel but as you can see in the existing land use plan that it is a residence so yeah that can be area so now what we are doing is that we are finished with the main attraction area which is right over here so we have not introduced any of the industrial use um uh industrial use lands uh, over here so like right, this comes in a very out, 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 outskirts area of this uh, if we consider this red boundary as our city so this will come as an out outskirt area so i was thinking to give the um, industrial a area usage right over here but i can see some wicket land over here also but i think this will be more helpful if i give this uh, land in commercial use but right now i'm giving it as a green zone let's say uh, in the future it may it might change or it could change yeah anything can happen but for now i think the commercial use will be a better option for this area rather than giving it to any industry which will uh, at last always uh, get fall off or anything like that so yeah i'll give this for now i'll give this as a green zone so they could not build over here so uh, one more problem that this uh, this uh, city or uh, this district has is that the cliff has a very high level of erosion um, happening over there so i think uh, building less on the cliff will help the city to uh, live more so yeah that's why we have made this a uh, big change of uh, giving it as a mix residential use and not just a pure residential use so let's see if it can help or not it's also a st uh, trial and error we have to go with the government guidelines we have to get meetings done this and that 
is that all is going to happen but uh, yeah let's see what the best is that we can do for the locals and also for the tourist that is predominant in that area so yeah as you can see this all is going to be all residence 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 we have given the molly's hostel as commercial zone uh, rest all is i think we should give it as right now rather than this part will give it as green this is also with the cliff area right over here this is going to be a cliff area this is also a cliff area this is the Papnasham beach which is right over there right so we have to give it as a commercial over there so yeah let's first complete with the residence right over here we'll do match properties with the hatch I think that you are clear uh, from my old videos I think you are seeing it and I am just assuming that you know it <laughs> uh, and if you don't know then go back to my channel and just check, check it out this area we are going to give it as a paddy field because vegetation is also important so just consider that this five kilometer square area is our city and this city should have everything correct so from till here we are going to give that then for this sides we are going to give industrial zone areas which is not there right now as you can see it over here it is not there right now but yeah we will give it it's not a big deal we'll give I think we have to increase the institutional areas but yeah I can I can that can be carried out afterwards that we take one meeting with the with our client which is the workla government I think we'll go with that uh, right now giving this area as the green zone will help the tourist and the cultural and the ecological system of workala to flourish more i think this this part will give it as a commercial use because uh pap nasham beach has its cultural value oh oops the hatch got spread it out oh this is going to be a problem right over here let's regenerate the model and try to hatch again mm -hmm. uh oh so what uh, what you should do when you get uh, things like that just uh, do a polyline and trace it over the the part that you want to hatch it this is the fastest and the easiest way to do rather than just selecting the points and doing this and that i think this is the best way to overcome uh, this thing and as you can see it is done over here and we'll just hatch it over here and still it is get Ting turned off. We'll select the shape over here. We'll hatch it in the blank model. Then we'll select the hatch and place it right wherever we want to place it, which is over here. And yeah, oh, this was going to be a commercial, so I will go with the blue. Oops, where's the oh? It went to be below the this image so change the draw order right over here and bring to front and then regenerate oh what what send to bag regenerate okay there we are the photo just came above everything and it just got me a small heart attack <laughs> So now it's okay, everything is safe right now. We'll start drafting with the residential lands again. So like this lands are, uh, this is still at a very conceptual level. We are not going with every inch of land, but we are proposing a bigger, bigger thing for uh, the, for that village, for the city. We are proposing a big thing. So not just a small piece of land that we are going inch by inch by telling everyone what to do but rather than giving it as a broader aspect in uh, in the city planning project so this is what we are doing it right now so this is also we are all giving it i think this also i should give it as green in this i should also give it as green but there are small houses right over here 
think this will go in residence this is right okay so this i think we should have a buffer near this backwaters so till here the houses are there so i'll give the residence over here but then all should be in the green zone to be at a safer if any flood world if any flood or anything comes then i think i think the re residence should be at a safer place this is also not a safe place but at least not near the river so i think this guy will have to move we are giving this as a green zone when we'll give this as a vegetation plantation and other okay so as we are right over here this part also will uh, completely go go under the green zone as we already uh, already have it over here we'll just put it as a green zone which will be easier for us so we'll stop this at the river also we'll stretch a line over there and this will all go under the green zone which will be safer for them to so as you can see we have a big um, a big parcel of land that is completely empty i think right over here this much this much this much this much is completely vacant for now as i could see here small zone residents are still there and uh, yeah but this thing is right now empty so i think this we are giving it as an industrial zone finally the industrial used land will arrive right over here and yeah voila industries will be now happy i think this area will also give it as an industrial area there are small scale cottage industries also so we should also take care of that and not just <laughs> you know just take care about the greens and the residents we should also take care, take care about the existing business industries that are uh, all uh, already in that area so we can't just uh, move them away right so we also we should have a provision or a line to re reload lo locate them right so yeah you can see we are continuing with our uh, residential use again we are going with our residential uses again this thing is still with the river i wanted to give it as a green but as you see that there are houses right over here i can't just give it as green so i'll have to give it as a residential zone but the rest whatever i get i will give it as green to let the residents be safe but this man is having a very nice river viewing villa so let's not <laughs> take it away from him and just give it him as a residential use land and not harass him anymore <laughs> correct so we have this plot of land we'll try to save it by giving it as a residential oh sorry a green zone area i think paddy fields will also work in this area and this is the of course this is going to be a small parcel of land and this is i think, I think we'll give this as industrial this is a small parcel of land if any small houses are also there i think industrial should be given over here sorry buddy and you can see small 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 houses right over here so all, all is going to go under residence this all is going to go under residence let's just fix this up as residence and rest all we give it as green we'll fix this up as a residence this is a single plot of land we can't just give this a single plot of land because it's different this guy is having a different kind of land and then these guys are going to have a different kind of land and yeah stuff like that mm, mm, yeah and as you can see we are still giving this as a residence fully residence we are trying to do as much detailing as possible but i think at this level this much detail is enough to be provided and to be given and yeah let's just do this as a residential area and this is going to be the backwaters area this is going to be the green zone 
let's just give it as a green zone and plantations and more wala thing we'll give it as a plantation and more wala thing over here and it is right over here this is also we are going to give it as a green but no we can't just give it green over here we'll also we'll have to give the potential residential zone areas that we have it over here we have a small cottage over here i think he will end he will end up losing his land a bit of his backyard i think because this zone i'm surely going to give it as a green zone and cutting off their houses uh, sorry let's take this much this guy will also this guy will also lose his backyard but it will go in a green zone so it's it's good for him i think they they would never know that why they are cutting my land off but the small small changes makes a big difference so giving it as a green zone will always help for them only when in the time of natural calamities or anything like that it it, it will always going to it is always going to help them but they will not understand at a uh, at this stage of their uh, mind which is not ready to understand such things so yeah but you should always do the you should always do the right job that is right for the time and right for the climate and right for the city and also for your client <laughs> that is also a thing that you should always take care of that what your client wants if you don't give what your client wants then your client doesn't want you <laughs> So yeah, for that we do our last hatch and we finish our proposed land use area for uh, Varkala. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed the process of drafting the proposed land use map, then drop a subscribe. And if you liked it, then also share it with someone who may need it, uh, architecture friend or anyone you know who is into architecture. So yeah, thank you for watching and. That's it.